Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to scrap or how to get products from Amazon, a specific category, even a specific page and get them into a CSV. And even if you want them to be uploaded to WooCommerce, then I'll also uh, show you. Let me know in the comments if you want me to upload that CSV to WooCommerce. Uh, but today I'll show you how to get them into a CSV. Uh, let's say we are get, getting a specific category or a specific search term like uh, PS4 games or uh, toddler toys and press enter. Once you have a search result, uh, please remember that uh, you must have the pagination within the search result because um, we will get a specific page for that search. So. In this you can see we have the pagination right here come to page 2 first uh, because there is a page 2 element and by using this uh, we can mention uh, how many pages or which pages we need to scrap come down and let's see how many pages we have seven pages approximately so copy this link or uh, let me just first uh, show you how to install the extension first <coughs> and please remember to use uh, Google Chrome browser because uh, we have Firefox here for uh, getting the URL or searching the Amazon but uh, for scrapping you will need the Chrome browser okay in Chrome browser you uh, do not have uh, the scrapping extension this one if you do not have then please click on new tab or come to options and click on more tools click on extensions go to extension chrome store or web chrome store type web scrapper and press enter and the first one is web scrapper um, provided by web scrapper.io when you click it uh, you will see the source a video and offered by webscrapper.io so click on add to chrome I already have it that is why I am seeing remove from chrome and here is the icon this web type icon is uh, web chrome store uh, sorry web scrapper okay once you have this then uh, get that URL from your Firefox browser or any other browser if you already opened that and click here and paste and go so basically uh, we will start with page 2 but um, in the scrapper we will mention page 1 to 7 so right click on the page anywhere and click on inspect element and here you can see a new tab called web scrapper click on web scrapper and click on sitemaps uh, here the list will be empty for you because uh, I have multiple scrapper scripts already done so let's create a sitemap and I'll name it uh, one underscore Amazon and the URL will be similar as this one okay the name can't have any special characters so let's type 11 one Amazon I'm doing this because I want this uh, script to be on the top of my list click on create sitemap and then we will have some selectors to be built begin with lowercase letter so let's type triple A Amazon okay first we will need the links the first page links uh, these four are sponsored as you can see so we will start from the fifth one this one click on add new selector and type title change it from text to link and click on multiple because uh, from the listing page we will get multiple links click on select and start selecting the products once you select two or three all all will be automatically selected but if not then you can click the ones that are not selected 
these are also the sponsored one so leave the sponsored and all other are automatically selected so click on done selecting and save it now on the root you can see the title the root means this page too and let me show you how you can add more pages click on sitemap and click on edit metadata and here we have the page number two page is equal to two this one so before two add a large bracket and close it after two and type one dash seven because we know that we have seven pages so what this will do it will uh, get the products from one page two page three page up to seven page and then will stop so click save now the root means all these seven pages so this title or this link will be uh, got from all these seven pages now click on the link and open any product to get more details like image like title description price so first of all let's get name or title leave it as text and select click on select and then come to the browser and choose the title and the selector will be appeared here click on save now scroll down get price select price is also text if you get the whole element then uh, you will get the dollar sign and the point uh, decimal point as well click on data preview and we only have the price let me select a different one we have the price now you can have uh, these elements as HTML so click on add new and type short description or features or attributes whatever you call it change it to HTML and choose the parent of this div so we will get all this but this is not good let's find a child like this short description is already in a div so click here and click on save now we should have the image we can have multiple images and I'll show you how if you want to get these thumbnails then you will have to uh, remove the um, the size attribute from the URL so that you have a full image but if you want just one image then uh, just grab this one and for this we will get new image change it from text to image click on select and just click on the image and let's preview and you can see this is the main image but if you want to get uh, all images like we will say image one or uh, let's just stay here because some uh, products have one image and no thumbnails uh, that is why we will need the first image as the full image now type image one change it to image select and click on the image to thumbnail and let me show you what I meant by removing the attribute for the size click on data preview open this in a new tab and you will see that this is a tiny image so here is what you can do uh, in the URL you can see two dots here and there uh, so from the first dot including the first dot and up to second one excluding the second dot remove this string and press enter and you will see the larger image for that second image 
So this is the thing which you can do in the CSV file later. But I was just showing you that uh, is, it is possible to get the thumbnail and then we will get the full image. Now save it. Similarly, you can add image 2, 3, 4, 5 or uh, so on. But, but let me add a third image, image 3. Change it to image. Select image 3. Click on done selecting. And save it. Now we will need the description. Scroll down. You can also get these uh, attributes like item weight or uh, shipping, domestic shipping, international shipping, country of region, SN. Uh, SN is quite important. So let me get that. SN is text and click on the SN done. And this is this is it. Now scroll down to the description, the product description, click on add new, type description and it's HTML or you can get it uh, in the text as well. Choose the parent div, OK and save it. Now just click on sitemap and scrap and click on start scrapping and wait for it until it across all seven pages and all 40 pages of for each seven pages so uh, I will pause this video um, because it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to populate the whole data okay after a couple of minutes uh, there is enough data to show you how to do it uh, so without closing this browser or this crapper window uh, let's come back to the main window and click on sitemap and click on export data uh, now the web scrapper api is being updated and uh, we have excel option and csv both option so uh, sometimes csv breaks because uh, this will get traditional csv with unicode uh, but we will get the excel the xls and we will convert it by ourselves to a unic uh, sorry a utf8 uh, comma delimited csv so click on .xlsx, open the Excel file and just uh, click on file and click on save as. Enable saving, save as and choose your folder. I'll choose desktop and get this comma delimited CSV format and save it click on yes now let's go to the desktop and open the file uh, I am minimizing this uh, script because I want it to be continued I do not want to make it stop minimize all the browsers and open amazon.csv and you will see that it is well formatted which means each value is in the exact column it should be okay now the second step uh, you can see this is a div where we have spaces and we have distract values uh, we can just get one value by going back to the scrapper and change it to uh, this one okay but we can also uh, explode it or split it copy this using dollar sign paste it here paste special all and select the column in the data click on uh, text to column yes text to column and delimiter next other type dollar sign here and click on finish so in this column you have the exact prices remove these copy the whole column and paste it in place of the price and name it as price again delete these two columns as well okay now uh, we have the images uh, you can see the first image was the full URL that is why it's uh, including the 4 to 5 you can also remove the 
4 to 5 to get exactly the full image but uh, we are okay with 4 to 5 resolution so in the second column uh, we have us 40 so copy this from first dot to next dot excluding the next dot copy and press control F on your keyboard or just click on find and select and replace paste the first one in this column the, the thing in this column including first dot but not the second dot and uh, leave that empty and click on replace all 36 replacements which means we have we still have more to do scroll down let's see we have 22 rows which means it also replaces within the second column let's uh, see this this value and use your keyboard to move around and this this one is different so copy this it is ss40 copy and this was us40 so paste it here and replace all and we have replaced it as well I think we do not have any other different variation of the image so all these images are now full images uh, let's just remove this 4 to 5 as well to remove uh, to decrease the confusion so copy paste it here and replace all and let's try one image if we are getting it correct open the different browser rather than Chrome and we have uh, this full image so this is how you can get the products from the script uh, the Amazon to the CSV and the script is still running because there are uh, almost 400 to 500 products so uh, I leave that until it's finished and then we'll repeat this uh, the same process for all these four five hundred products currently we have only 22 products because I uh, left it in the middle so this was all for today's video please let me know if you want me to convert it to the WooCommerce products uh, let me know in the comments and please uh, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will be notified when I publish new videos thank you